Oh, hey, I saw you there. My name's Tanner, this is John. We're part of the team behind Lamination the Documentary. Now, unless you're a wizard, you probably didn't know it, but I actually grew up with llamas. Wait, you mean to say you were raised by a herd of llamas? That is exactly what I'm saying. Throughout the years, I realized that the public's view of llamas was entirely different than what I knew the llama to be. Arr! And that's why we decided to create this documentary to show a whole new world that most of the general public hasn't seen. Now, we've already filmed quite a bit of the documentary, and we actually have a trailer that we want to show to you right now. Whoa, hey, you want to go on an adventure with me? Well, it just sort of happened over a period of around 30 years. And it's come a long way in those 30 years because nobody did llamas before. Nobody knew anything about llamas. My wife, uh, I said, do you, you want to raise horses or something to eat the grass? And she said, no, let's get some llamas. I said, nobody raises llamas. And she said, well, that's a good reason to raise llamas. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> and then once I get it, it's almost like I zone everything out and it's just okay. Going. Yes, sir. I know. I was supposed to take off the these pan ears, first. And I think you got major points. I know. Out of that. I got like seven points right there. Woo! Lama Lama! The main thing that I can do is as mayor is, you know, where the community is more walkable to humans, but also to other animals like llamas. For instance, you can drive your llama on the street and you don't have to worry about being run over by a speeding car. It's holding up traffic here. Hi. Well, people look at you really oddly when you go up and you say, yeah, I'm 15 and I have 18 children, but my animals are my children. People always stare when they come in, they're like, you have an ultrasound? They're like, I didn't know you were pregnant. I'm not pregnant. It's my llama. I think they're pretty smart because they can do so many things and they actually remember everything to do. And they, they do have a pretty big head. They're like, wait a minute, you can show llamas? And they don't have to explain to them how I show llamas. And by that point, they're pretty intrigued. I actually wanted this ribbon, even though it's fourth place. I wanted it so bad, and I did it. <laughs> I have had grand after grand after grand. I do have a lot of competitors. Well, I have one. It always seems like wherever I go, she's always right there. I'm always shooting for Grand Champion. I want to be a name that people are somewhat intimidated by in the show ring. That would be the ultimate goal there. I had no idea it was going to get this big, but the problem is the llamas are like potato chips and you can't have just one. They just bring it out in you. They know when you're down and they bring you back and you develop a passion a real passion for lumps. We really hope you enjoyed that trailer. It's been an amazing adventure, traveling the country, filming all these people who have unique stories about llamas. We've been packing with llamas in Colorado, and we've been to llama breeding farms in Georgia. And one of the big stories that we're following are two girls who are competing for the National Llama Championship to be the number one llama shower in the country. Our team has put in so much work into this documentary. We've been everywhere from Oregon to Georgia to North Carolina filming these stories. Now we've actually already filmed 85% of the film, but we need additional funding of $15,000 to help us through post-production, editing, and to get the film into film festivals. If we exceed our goal of $15,000, we can do so much with Llama Nation. We can go to Peru and explore the depth of where the llama came from. We can have a custom-made soundtrack, and we can follow the stories of the people we've met even deeper. I'm gonna take this opportunity to teach you a little bit about llama beans. The llama beans are the best fertilizer you can have. But don't take our word for it, take Rusty's. My name is Rusty Ledford. I work maintenance here at Fish and Pond Ranch, uh, which includes working here in the poop pile. Oh, you wanna come in, you take a tiller and you mix your mix the llama poop in there with it. Oh, it makes for a nice garden. Like I mean, we've got our garden over there too as well. We do it every season. Uh, till it up nice, then come back in with a nice layer of poop on top, till it right back in, and good garden. We're actually giving away llama beans if you donate to our Kickstarter. We're literally giving away <laughs> John, you can't say <laughs> So we also have a lot of great rewards for our Kickstarter as well. Some really awesome t-shirts, posters, digital downloads of the documentary when it's finished and so also some really cool things like llama cart driving lessons with the llama carting king himself, Ron Schimmick. Hope you've enjoyed everything we shared with you so far about Llama Nation. Now it's your turn to help us raise the funds that we need to finish Llama Nation. Also, everybody loves llamas, so if you could share this Kickstarter project on Facebook, 
on Instagram. Let's get the word out and let's get Lamination the documentary finished. Thank you guys.